Hey, morning, y'all. Hey, Nitz, how are you? Let me know how audio is, because I've got a pretzel running while I, um... While we talk. I can hear it. Hopefully it's not too loud for you all. So let me see what... Windows has done because it likes to mess with the mic. Okay, good. Uh, let me know how that is, Nit, since you're here. I don't know how many people are actually watching because I've been getting zero viewers. What do you mean the feedback? I made sure everything was off, like the the stream is muted. I turned down pretzel. Oh, there is a fan because it's muggy. It's really hot, but I can turn the fan down. Hey, morning, Furwick. How are you? It's not iced coffee, but I do have coffee. Thanks for the host, uh, Josh. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, the hard part is that even though the fan is, like, really, really far behind me, it, um, it still makes a lot of noise on the mic. So this mic is super sensitive. Hey, Teal. Thanks for the host. Wow, my voice is trying to go. Hey, BGG, thanks for the auto host. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I might have to refresh because I'm still showing zero viewers. And something with Twitch has been up my last few times. I've streamed no matter how many people are actually here. It shows zero viewers. Hold on. There we go. Hey Brian, good morning. Hey Raisin Brand. No, it's just something with Twitch it doesn't update. I've noticed it more and more when I'm streaming direct from the PS4. Um, ooh, my hair wants to not lay down. Because it's hot and I don't want it down, but having a headache or having it up was giving me a headache. So, just doing a check in. I haven't done one of these in a minute. Um, last talk show I did was with my partner here. Um, weird. Um, Streamlabs alert box is not showing up. Hey, Raisin Brand. So, Brand, did you, Predceratops, did you change your name? Hey, Tito, good morning. So good to see you. And I've got a little bit of a surprise because I did some cleaning around the house. And discovered, I uh, I still have a bunch of stuff from Pax East that I didn't know what to do with. So um, I've still got three full sets of. Hey, morning, gummy. Um, I've got some Overwatch pins. I've got three full sets of, uh... Hey, Critical Net. So, Brand, did you change your name? Um, I'm not going to give anyone napkins. That would be weird. Um, but I have a bunch of stuff from the Twitch party. And I have a random pin that I don't even know what, what it is. Um, nor will I give someone random now laters. I'm okay. Uh, doing a bunch of cleanup around the house and discovered that I still got three full sets of V's. I've got one set with just the she, her missing. 
So I was thinking about doing a giveaway. I do too, because I want to do... Oh, okay. Well, no, because we have someone pride ceratops in our, our community, and they normally go with Bran. Um, and so I was like, did they change their name? Forgot I bought this. It's, it's Cullen. Cully Wally. So, I was thinking about doing an impromptu giveaway. Oh, good. There's the Ubisoft pin I was looking for. Um, so, this one I'm not giving away. Yeah, I feel like I made a bigger mess cleaning, though. Um, so, I got three whole sets of these. Because I told people I'd buy them, and then no one actually asked me to send it to them if you did send me money for this, other than socks. Remind me so I don't give it away because I can't replace them. Um, and I've got three of these, so I may give one of these away. Because I sat them on a table and didn't stop us from taking several. So I took three. <laughs> Total. Oh, and I have my Morden pin as well. Morden is not being given away. This was um, the swag at the partner party at PAX East. And I've got two Overwatch pins, actually three, that I don't know what I'll do with. One, I guess, is supposed to be super rare. Um, it is. That was like the theme. It was an like 80s, 90s theme. So... I have three of them, and they're just taking up space in my house. And I have Overwatch pins. These I bought, but they were the packs where you don't know what you're getting. So there's a Genji, a Widow, and a Gold Sombra. There was one more, but I think I already gave it to somebody. Yeah, and I have a bunch of, like... Um, Nitz, do you want the Widow? I will happily send it to you. Because I, I, the characters I care about are never the ones I get in those packs. So, so I was thinking about doing an impromptu giveaway later in the stream. Yeah, really. Just, uh, mail me or message me probably on Twitter. Hey, Amara. Uh, an address you're comfortable giving me so I can drop it in the mail uh, between now and next week. So. But yeah, I just wanted to do kind of an AM check in, see how people are doing. Hey, Cherry. Thanks for auto host. Um, talk about stuff that's been in the news. Like, uh, the ridiculous won't stream with women because, oh my god, rumors. Let's just get that off the table right now. Because uh, I've seen various takes on it. I've seen various thoughts on it. Um, oh, thank you for the bit, Samara. Thank you. Um, yay, bits. Thank you. Wow, my voice has decided to try to go just the minute I start talking. Um... I want to put my hair in pigtails, but that's a lot of work. Also, I would look silly. Um, I think it's the auto host, Alexandra. No! Ah, uh, no, Brian. So, uh, the dude currently with, like, now later watermelon hair, ninja, Fortnite dude, um, and a polygon piece, said that he wouldn't stream with women because of the weight because of rumors, etc. Now keep in mind, when you are streaming, unless you are literally sitting next to me, what opportunity is there for there to be inappropriate behavior? So instead of using the platform for good and using your power and your reach for good, You go, oh, can't stream with women. 
you know, they might might cause rumors. And I'm just like, are are you for real? Oh hey, Muxy wanted to work in my my Discord finally. Um, thanks, Muxy. So yeah, I uh, I saw that and I'm just like, okay. Now granted, I saw it after this article came out because I don't pay attention to this dude. I don't like Fortnite. Um, I I could care less. About what he actually does. Uh, oops, should we watch it over here? Chat. I guess so. Hey, Penny. Good morning. And I'm just like, so you basically have said that you cannot, like, you just can't be around women. This is what you've now told people. It's okay, Amara. Things happen. Look. Because I, I, of course, only knew about it because of people talking about it on Twitter. Because, again, I don't I don't care about this dude. I don't care about his... I don't care about Fortnite like that. That's incredibly dumb. So, like, Gummy, if me, you, and, and Josh want to stream together, why would anyone assume that that is, be, like, the only reason that we were streaming together is because there's, you know, shenanigans going on. That's like saying we can't be friends because you're a dude. Hey, Skimlines. Thanks for the host. Good morning. Well, I mean, and that's, that's, that's fallacious logic. That's stupid. It's very stupid. And it basically tells me where your mind is, if this is where you jump to, people are going to accuse me. And it's like, and, and let's not try to cloak it in, well, I'm protecting this woman, I'm protecting my wife, because supposedly his wife didn't tell him to do it. Okay, cool, your wife didn't tell you to do this. But you said I'm stupid. Because this just reinforces the idea. Hey, Callie. Right? Cavill told on himself. Right, right, Gummy. I I didn't know you were pulling uh pulling the ladies like that. Well, and then you know when someone brought up what if someone's gay, is this gonna be? Is this gonna then turn into, oh, you're only streaming with this dude because because it's on the DL or something or or what have you? So that means you just never stream with anybody. If this is your reasoning for not streaming with someone of the opposite gender, this is stupid. This is really stupid. Um, like I've I've co-streamed with with dudes. It makes no sense because I I feel like a lot of people. Oh, thanks for the resub, Amar. Yay, sub hype. Well, I have too many things going. Good morning. Oh no. Well, Nightbot is not modded, so Nightbot can't. Uh, Nightbot can't do anything to you right now. Hey, BJ. Good morning. Oh, um, can I see? I have no mods here. Good job. This is what I get for streaming so early. BJ, how's uh gaming going? Imagine if I stopped streaming with dudes because overwhelmingly we began to get creepy and or competitive with each other over my attention. That's because they are. That's how they are. Right, Gummy? Right? You're so welcome. I want to get into WoW. I'm afraid I'll either buy it and hate it or get into it and then no one will see me again. 
it's dumb. It's it's really dumb. And someone with that kind of reach needs to realize the effect their words has. Um, you know, and, and plenty of people have had things to say about it. I'm just like, let's let's forget even the I won't stream with women because I I don't want um, I don't want anyone to start rumors. Let's not forget that this dude said nigger. Oh, you're so welcome, Gummy. Um, so everybody just forgot about that. We just gonna ignore that altogether. We just gonna mm, people just gonna forget that entirely. Oh shit! Let me uh, fix my sub goal because that was for the subathon the other day. Um, keep talking while I fix this. Sorry, I changed my sub goal thing for the subathon, which I did poorly. Um. is in game edit uh ninja did hopefully this will update real time Hey, Lady V, thank you for that follow. Good morning. Yeah, he claimed he was singing along to something. Um, he got a slap on the wrist. Oh, and that extra camera just came up by itself. Thanks, camera. I only knew of him because of all the, oh my god, this person makes so much money streaming on Twitch. Everybody wants to stream fucking Fortnite and thinks they're going to be this dude. Good morning, Lady V. Good morning. Um, and and then, like, not long after the interviews and all stuff, because, like, oh, he makes all his money streaming on Twitch, and he streams one game. Well, I guess he streamed Halo, or was a competitive Halo player previously, so he had a fan base. But the story is only, oh, he makes so much money on Twitch. And then later later because that train is never late white dude saying the n-word on twitch it's a misunderstanding the word doesn't mean anything it's it's you only let the word have power blah 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 well you know and and here's the thing and i was able to give this feedback to twitch is that after this happened the Twitch Twitter account had a tweet that was like, everyone has a bad day sometimes. And I keep wanting to look at chat and not at the camera. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. Um, they literally tweet out, everyone has a bad day sometimes, even Ninja. And this is on the cusp of him doing this. Oh, I saw that tweet. I saw that tweet because it was after I'd gotten my tweet, my, my email about Unity Day and Black History Month, and, and I was just like, did you? Did you actually tweet this from the official Twitter, Twitch Twitter account? After this dude is 900 kinds of hot water for saying a slur. Which sent the message, you can do what you want as long as you make Twitch money. Well, that that was the thing. And uh, I, I was lucky enough to give them feedback in replying to uh, an email I had gotten about an opportunity. Like, so, let, let's talk about this. Um, but here's the thing. Amazon, Je Jeff Bezos, um, has enough money to save, to stop world hunger, to fix homelessness, but he's doing nothing with it. There are people that can't afford rent in Seattle because Seattle's so fucking expensive, but Jeff Bezos has all this money. And what money are they putting back into Twitch? You know. Twitch is headquartered in San Francisco, the most expensive city to live in. Right? I mean, 
the Secretary of Education has several yachts, but teachers are on food stamps. Look, Amara, look. Every time somebody uses a slur, a swear, there's an excuse that we're making a big deal out of nothing. You're not wrong, Gallicans. And I'm always just like, so, I mean, this is why there's someone that got kicked out of our Discord because they thought they could repeat that word. And their explanation was, well, they said it. It was like the last straw in the bunch of things that they had done. But this is where I'm like, the, the record, the, the line, we're, we're done. And I'm sorry, every time I stream, my nose itches and I don't understand it. Look, critical knit, look. That was my, this is a bridge too far today. This is a bridge too far. I, I can't with y'all. I don't know if you were in the Discord yet, uh, Critical Knit. Um, trying to think of there's my reg a lot of my regulars are at day jobs right now, so um, yeah, um, it was a few months ago. Well, and they're white European, and their excuse was because I I posted a clip from uh, Desu Samero in our politics channel. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, it would have been before then, I think, Knit. Um, but I posted a clip from Daisy Samaro, and they're two black dudes. They use the word off it. And of all the things out of a two minute clip, this was the thing they decided to pair it in the channel. And I was like, I wish, I mean, this is partially the look I had on my face. Because I wasn't home, I was traveling, and I woke up to all of this in my Discord. I was not a happy person. What started as a 30-day ban became a permanent ban out of the Discord. Um, so, yeah. Oh, hey, my beholder patches. I, I fidget. I need stuff to fidget with, so that's why there's always crap on my desk. Um... I would listen to Twitch a lot at work. It was like my podcast. A lot of what I do, I have someone stream up in the background. Or I try to have tabs open, like another window with tabs open to support people. But I can only listen to one stream at a time. Um, but yeah, that, that, that Twitch silliness. That Twitch silliness. Um... Oh, thanks for the host, Lady V. Uh, glad you came by and brought your folks. Um, well, I've got a bunch of stuff, but I've also got this. So this is my performer token from Stream of Many Eyes for D&D. So it is incredibly heavy. So I can fidget with it, but if I drop it, you're going to hear me holler because it will fucking hurt. And it will probably break a toe if it lands on my foot. And the thing is, I don't even know if they really actually wanted to say they were literally just parroting what they heard, but adults don't do that. I mean, we, we parrot stupid shit. We parrot what people say as children. We don't do this as adults. At least no one I know as an adult parrots something like, well, they said it. Okay, so they said it. That doesn't mean you can say it. That That's the hill folks want to die on, Penny. I, I don't understand it. 
But, uh, other stuff that's going on is, uh, look, Callie, look, I don't, I don't know what to tell people. Um, right? Look, I don't know what to say, what else to say with that, Benny, just, so, I'm, okay, I know plenty I could say, so, what I found is that a, a lot of white people, and this is the capital Y-O-U, before anyone gets in their feelings, is that a lot of people want to feel oppressed. They want to find something to feel oppressed about. And I find it a lot with queer white people because they will hang on to, but I'm gay, therefore I'm oppressed. Or fill in the blank that differs them from the assumed default and they want to be oppressed. You will never have the historical baggage that a black person has in this country. Not a person of color, a black person. Because people often go, but POC is like, no, no, let's be serious. Let, let's talk about black folks. Because when you, this is the oppression Olympics you want to play, let's be specific. Of y'all not going to have the same history of oppression of being literal slaves and sold and treated as less than human. Like, Right now, I've been trying to go back and find relatives. At a certain point, it gets harder and harder because there's no records. Or the records are lost. Or they're burnt. <laughs> Thank you for bits, Penny. Thank you so much. Yay, bits. Um, because we were property. I mean, let's not sugarcoat this bullshit. Black folks were property up to less than 200 years ago in this country. But everybody wants to have the, oh, but slavery's over. Slavery was so long ago. The last living person who was a slave is, I think there's still one or two people who were actual, like, owned by folks slaves. Well, that's the thing, VJ. A lot of people can't. A lot of people won't. They, they want to find some axis of oppression or like uh, when I talk about hair right, if that Brian, um, like I talk about hair without fail when I talk about my hair my hair is locks you know, this is nine years and a lot of work and a lot of self reflection and a journey to accept my hair as it is because we've been told that our natural hair is not enough. It's not good enough. Without fail, when I talk about my natural hair, when I talk about having locks, when I see white folks on Twitter talking about their locks and their oppression because they, they chose to have locks, mind you, whatever it is they think are, they have on their head that is locks, or fake hair, they went out and didn't even, they didn't even make the sacrifice to fuck up their hair. They went and bought locks. They always want to be in my mentions and with, well, I've got curly hair. I've got brightly colored hair. There was someone I had to stop talking to and eventually I just had to cuss her out because I talked about my hair. Look, Penny, you know that it, it where's the lie? Where's the lie? It's that nasty looking shit that looks like you ain't bathed in 50, 11 years. It's all, no, it's always Becky. It's, it's never Karen. And they want to talk about they have natural hair. Um, so, natural by who? Who standards? Look, Bran, look. <laughs> I see you with that uh, Lucid Fox emote. Right, Amara, right. But, you know, coming back to that, where it's like, I talked about my hair, and it's like, I always get people who either they want to touch my hair, or they tell me in this weird, half odd, half afraid tone, whenever I'm like out to dinner, whatever, that. I wish I could do that to my hair. 
I love your hair. It's, and, they, and it's always accompanied with like the faux reach. The, you can tell they want to touch your hair. Hey, as a queen. And then you have to go, are you, is your hand coming toward me? Because without fail, it happens the most when I'm in Seattle. So I'm bracing for it the week of PAX. Look, VJ, I have, I have, ha so you may not have heard the story, and I will tell the story in a second, of someone putting their hands in my hair. Oh, thanks for the host, Jungle Queen. Hey, Shingatsu, good morning. Um, you know, whenever I'm in Seattle, whenever I'm on the West Coast, it seems to happen more in the West Coast. Not so much here, because we don't have a lot of white folks walking around with locks here, because they know better. Um, it's always these crunchy ass looking girls that looks like they have never, like they haven't seen soap in 20 years. Um, because their hair looks disgusting and I figure if you ain't washed your hair, the rest of you ain't clean either. So, I mean, I need to wash my hair as it is, but spoiler, you need to wash your hair when you have locks and condition it and do other things. Um... But yeah, I always get these people, it's like this weird, I wish I could do that to your hair. Do that to my hair. And I'm just like, no, no, you don't. You'll lose your hair. Because beeswax will rot in your hair. People don't realize this. Honey, peanut butter, all the stuff that people want to put in their hair that they think will make it locks. They think your hair just has to be matted. Learn that there's going to be mats and locks. I don't know why this is. Be honest, I'm like, this is locks. This takes maintenance. I was at the shop for seven hours when I got my hair done last time. Seven hours. This is conditioning, washing, coloring, twisting, and several trips under the dryer. Shingatsu, I have seen people talk about using peanut butter, honey, and shea butter to lock their hair. So two stories, and then a please throw stuff in the chat. Um, person I used to know um, and it, it, this is worse because she thought that this was a-okay um, and B thought that black folks were going to help her do this she decided because she has white woman keeps her hair dyed pink like bright Pepto pink and thought actually it's like the color on my business card for Gamer X, this shade of pink, that that shade of pink is how she kept her hair. Um, and she decided locks. Apparently, no one in this woman's life told liked her enough to tell her a it's a bad idea, b it will look stupid, c it's appropriation. No one in her life apparently liked her enough to tell her this. Um, and so she did it. And this is what she did. She had a party to lock her hair. And invited me, the one black person who lived in their communal house, and other folks to do this. Now, one, I'm not touching anyone else's hair. I don't care for fuck it. I don't care. I'm not going to sit there and do this to anyone else's hair. I'm, I'm not a paid professional to touch anyone's hair. If someone allows me and they want head scratches, fine. And we have to be really close. I still don't want to touch random people and not someone I don't like that much. And so she decided to do this and had a party, posted photos. The black person lives in the house and did it, mostly to keep the peace. I found out he was trash later anyway. And then she kept posting, hey, good morning, Belle. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, kept posting photos and crying about her hair and how hard it was to maintain and that it wasn't locking. And so the final straw for her, I guess, was posting about how she wanted to do a, um, what's the word? Salt water rinse, sea salt rinse so her hair would tighten up faster. And, I've, and this was my only comment of like, if you must insist on doing this, go to someone who knows what they're doing to maintain your hair. Your hair's going to fucking fall out. 
I'm so sorry, Sam. Good morning, by the way. How are you? Um, it was like, your, and I kept reinforcing, your hair is not meant to do this. It does not have the texture to lock. My hair had a hard time locking, and I've got this thick-ass hair. No, not sea, peanut butter and sea salt. They wanted to keep, keep doing a sea salt rinse because they thought it would make their hair tighten or lock faster. But I've seen people talk about using honey, peanut butter, etc. So this kicked off a whole thing. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Um, this kicked off a whole thing with someone trying to educate me on locks and how they're not purely for black folks. Like they pulled up, they tried to pull the Viking thing. Vikings used lye on their hair and the Picts did that to terrify their enemies. It was matted and stuck out and it was not locks as we think of them. That's why I got so mad about Hellblade. Oh yes, it got O oh, Penny. Oh my god, it was amazing. They tried to pull out the Viking thing. They tried to pull out um, Sikhs. You would lock their hair, but Sikhs have hair like ours. It is thick. It can lock. But it was the, it's just hair, it's not cultural appropriation argument. It's never just hair for black women. It's never just hair for black folks. Um, you know, I've, I've had people ask me repeatedly, what do you have to do to your hair? Can you wash your hair? Um, oh my god, I didn't realize you could dye your hair with locks. Um, it's hair. You can dye it. You can cut it. I can trim these. Not just suspended. Remember there was an actual lawsuit when a woman got offered a job and then they rescinded it because she had locks. The military just relaxed their... Um, um, rules about black hair. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Shigetsu. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, you know, I've had people ask me stupid questions about my hair, be surprised I wash my hair. Because I would make a comment like, oh, my hair's so wet from washing it yesterday, and they look at me like, you wash your hair? Yes. Because they believe all of that, you know, people who have locks must not wash it, or the, the Rasta, that means I must smoke weed. I have smoked, I am not a regular smoker, it's not legal here. I have imbibed and indulged in places where it is legal at the time. Um, so, and I'm not, I don't understand why. I think it's a psychosomatic thing. My nose will start to itch the minute I'm on camera. And when I do stuff like this one, it's a little me. It's it's not as bad. Okay, this is kind of hilarious. The pretzel just did this. Thanks, pretzel. Look, Shingetsu. Or they don't understand the difference between locks and braids and twists, and they always ask me, well, how long does that take? Don't they have to take it all down? And I'm like, hey, try you. Oh, really? I think it happens to Josh quite a bit. Good morning. How are you? I am looking forward to seeing you at TwitchCon. Actually, won't I see you when I'm in London? So I don't know if I have ever actually seen a photo of you, so I don't know what you look like. <laughs> um. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I. so for those that don't know, I am in an exhibit opening at the V&A September 8th, and I'll be over in London after PAX. Alright, bye! Have a good one!
What? Uh, okay. Yeah, I just, I don't think you've ever posted photos that I've seen Shingetsu. Um. Yeah, that's so not true, Chris. Um, like, later today, I probably will wash my hair and it'll be wet for, like, a day. Because when I'm standing, my hair is, like, down to my ass. So it's almost a two-person operation to wash my hair at this point. Yeah, so let me find that. Let me get that tweet. Oh, I've got to open up. I need diverse games, I think. What news? Oh, Final Fantasy Companion app is live. Oh, here it is. I'm not sure what news has been put out yet, but yeah, I'm part of this exhibit. Hey, Dr. Keck. Thank you for that auto host. Finish what? Oh, really? Shingetsu? Uh, because, Chris, a lot of people don't understand black hair. Oh, thanks for the host, Gummy. Um, because a lot of people don't understand our hair. Oh, thanks for the host, Atreya. Um, A lot of folks just don't get it. They really don't get it. Um, I mean, it's the same reason people will do weird shit to their hair and think that that's what locks are. Um, you know, like people will cite Bob Marley and suppose he had all these lice and shit. That's not standard. Black hair needs maintenance. Black hair needs care. You can't just throw your hands up and be like, oh, well, fuck it. My hair needs care and maintenance. I spend a lot of money at the shop when I go. Um, one thing is, I'm not even exaggerating. When I say I'm anywhere from three to seven, maybe eight hours, depending on what I'm getting done, that is full time. And But again, that includes any washing, conditioning, um, when I get my hair, when I get the tips bleached, because um, right now they're still pretty bright, but the next time I go back, he wants to bleach my hair um, before I go to PAX. Like my hair, this is this is a dye job, and a lot of it's pr still pretty bright. Um, when I got this done, I was there for seven seven years, seven hours. But that was a doing the color, rinse, dryer, deep conditioning, rinse, dryer, retwisting from the, all the new growth, dryer, and then he did an elaborate kind of updo braid thing. It lasted like all of eight hours because I couldn't sleep on it. And then trimming and everything else. I, so this is a weird thing about hair. I worked at the same university for five years before I worked for myself. And this woman who saw me from when I started there to my last day kept asking me about my hair. And then one day she asked me about extensions. She thought I had lock extensions. Apparently that's a thing. So I found out this white chick in Australia who's feeling a way about her heritage. Um, got them. And got them like down to her ass. And I think they look trashy, but that's a whole other story. And she's not a streamer, so that's not violating TOS. Um, um... 
Yeah, she tried to pull the, well, I've got Celtic heritage, I'm getting locked. And despite everyone telling her, no, don't do it, she did it anyway. So, yeah, 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 hair, black hair is a lot. Um, so if you see a, if you know a black person, oh, and, he, and by the way, if one day you see a black person, you know, locks notwithstanding, but twists, braids, etc., they have very short hair, they've got braids, they've got twists, and they literally come in the next day with either longer braids, their hair puffed out, it's their hair. Because I would know people, like, they would get braids to give their hair a rest. Because your hair can still break, can still get damaged. Like, they would do, like, like get a conditioner, get their hair braided, let it, let it rest and grow out. And they come to work the day after they got the braids down, and people would not know what the fuck to do. Because they're like, what? Yeah. It did feel like seven years of Treyu. I was just like, I need a nap. And now to be careful not to land anything, because I might get red dye on it. Um, but what else is on people's minds? I just, I had no set plan. I just got on stream and decided to start talking. I may, uh, I may play, I may play a game for a little bit, because it's only 9.30 for me. Oh, really, Benny? Samus has a line about it in one of her songs, and it just amazes me. Although I've never seen Samus without her braids. Hey, Bass, how'd your stream go yesterday? I saw you were on, but I was like falling asleep. Oh, really? Oh my god, this is why I need to stop eating at my desk. Yeah, Gummy, are you going to make it to TwitchCon? Oh, you're so welcome. Chris, are you streaming today? Oh, and by the way, I will be over uh, your way for that V&A exhibit. And Chris is awesome. I should give you a shout out to you. How's your, uh, how's your streaming going, Chris? Oh really, Anna, Amara? Oh my god. You're you're like it's braids. Oh, you got sucked into Warcraft too, Chris? I did not know that was your actual name, base. Okay. Well thank you for stopping by, Chris. Uh Chris is really awesome because he's in the UK. I often get to peep in when he's uh doing lunchtime streams when I am up early. So I'm glad we're seeing you if you're getting sucked into Warcraft. Oh, Gummy, I'm sorry. I So, I've never played Warcraft. Confession. Um, I tried it when it first came out and I was super bored. Oh, level 40. Are you doing the play for free so far? You went ahead and bought it. Hey, Squid Hat. Good morning. Thank you, last time, for bits and stuff. Oh, really, Base? That's right. Yes, we've, we've had the wow conversation. Hey, Sharif. Good morning. How are you? Oh, dear. Uh, we won't see Malevent ever again because uh, she's gotten Warcraft. Oh my god, I totally missed a message from someone about something important. It's a uh, GDC time for for uh, panels. They're due tomorrow. No, I got you. I got you. Oh, Star Wars rabbit hole. Look, if it wasn't in October toward the end and I knew that I didn't have anything before, well, I have stuff before, but that's my only thing in October that I'm paying for out of pocket. Otherwise, I couldn't go. I've also got some uh, consulting gigs that will come in and the check I'm waiting on 
check I'm waiting, I was probably going to go toward London and Scotland, though. I'm just annoyed that I, uh, I had to, I thought I was getting a, a EFT versus a, a mailed check from Canada. So I'm sitting here waiting on money. Which is annoying. Can you all hear that? Um, I am actually on a mental health panel, uh, Sam, that Dr. B from Take This is doing. Um, normally they don't, but my payer is in Canada, and there's something about the mismatch between number of... This happened before when I tried to get paid from someone in Canada. Um, it was actually around last TwitchCon, where Canadian bank accounts and U.S. bank accounts have a discrepancy in the number of numbers in the account so trying to EFT between a Canadian and a US bank does not work it throws errors something about it doesn't work as um, last year for TwitchCon the person who set up the politics panel did fundraising and tried to send me the money by transfer but when I put in my bank account number it wouldn't take it it kept telling me it was an error so it will only take a Canadian bank account number to send someone money. So, like, if I wanted to give, like, if I wanted to send base money by by transfer versus, like, PayPal, if one of us was Canadian, it wouldn't work because the Canadian bank was like, this isn't an account. We don't, there's not enough numbers. And I'm like, how many fucking numbers do you need? It was otherwise to be a wire, and wire has more fees, and wire can take longer. Wait, I was using it as an example base. Well, usually if, if it's someone in the UK, I will ask for PayPal. Um, but it's a AAA studio, so they can't really pay me by PayPal. Oh, you're being cheeky, I see. Um, So yeah, unfortunately, it is coming from a studio in Canada, so I have to wait for that check. I'm just hoping it arrives before I go to London and that I have time to deposit it. Um, so other stuff on my mind, unless you all have topics you want to talk about. Um, I wish it would, also I wish it would release the TwitchCon schedule, but I haven't got my code to register yet. I try to be. I, I try. Thank you, base. Um, so I don't know who follows who on Twitter. Um, hey, French. How are you? Bonjour. That is all the French I can give you beside apple and cheese. And I don't speak French. <laughs> um, is So I've seen a couple threads about this, which um, is about paying people what they're worth. Let me see if I can find the tweets. Um, so I know Mickey just talked about it this morning. Um, where a, a, comp a group got her to speak and then was like, well you want to donate that, right? And then she's like, no. Um, so I'm trying to find um, Mickey's tweet from this morning. It was not, oh, here it is. Hey, Brian, I, I saw nothing. Did you see Roxanne Gay's tweets as well? 
Oh really, French? What's a touchy subject? I'm I'm good. It's morning. I have coffee. A cheese omelet. I didn't know Lovey had a podcast. Oh, see, that's extra when they don't want to pay you but want to pay other people. No, no, you pay all of us or you pay none of us. Yeah, for a week, I'm going to get off my ass later when I go do laundry and walk down the street and probably get iced coffee or go to the store and find mix where I can make iced coffee. Um, I was trying to find... Was I replied to... Um, Roxanne Gay's tweet. Because for me, it comes back to the the whole black women will save us. And I'm like, no, 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 hey, we're not here to help you. Sorry, I'm looking for a tweet, which is why I'm uh, not looking at the chat really quick. And, uh... I just... I, like, you have to read this. Because... They asked for her fee. They asked for her fee. It wasn't like they asked, could she volunteer her time and we'll cover your at least your flight and your hotel. This was... What is your fee? Oh, here it is. Because I've had this. I've had this many times. And I can't even charge what Roxanne Gay charges. Nice. Um, in French... No, that's fine. No, that's totally fine, French. It's something I talk about a lot. That's why I have Fuck You Pay Me um, on my laptop. But while y'all are reading that, um, in terms of hourly rate, no, it, it's totally fine. Because I was veering toward that anyway, so it's actually very topical French. Um, is that a lot of people don't understand that their time is valuable. And not in a their stupid way, but in a... I can actually charge people for this way. And I should charge a wage that means that my time is being respected. Right, Chris, right? And you have a regular gig for a lot of us, like myself, Roxanne Gay, this is how we make our money. Um, because what I mean, like a lot of people, when they get paid the first time for writing an article, when they get paid or get invited to something as a guest versus, look, Chris, look, these folks, um, well, like, so perfect example, and, you know, Queerness and Games Conference, I, I spoke there, and this isn't even them inviting me, but it is, it's on that other side of it where they have a grant. And a by grant, I mean, based on ticket sales, we can give you a reimbursement after the fact. And this year, it's being held in Montreal. I can't afford to go to Montreal for three, four days, flight and hotel, whatever, or homestay, whatever it is, and on my own because a lot of our money, a lot of the money that I spend to do travel that's not covered by other people comes from I Need Diverse Games. And it has to be, I'm talking about diversity, I'm talking about gaming. So speaking at a conference is something I can justifiably take money from the org. However, this is the end of September after PAX, after, I mean London and, and Scotland are a personal trip. I'm not really using I Need Diverse Games money for that. Um, granted, I'm in the exhibit because of the work I do with INDG, but 
going for a week and a half to London and Scotland is more a personal trip. Um, it sucks. And so, right, but, and that's where I'm going to, but like with, with, I, with, I need, with Prudence and Games Conference, they offered me 150 Canadian for my whole grant. That won't cover a flight there. Even though Chicago to Montreal is a very short flight, um, 150 Canadian ain't gonna, ain't gonna work, because... I think it was Brian that uh, did the exchange. It's like 115. So they offer grants, Chris, for speakers. And when you fill out your form, you're like, I can, you can say, I can't attend if I don't get a grant. If I tell you I can't attend without a grant and I need the money up front to buy my flight, the total grant I was offered was 150 Canadian. 150. When I said it'd probably be 300 US just for the flight. 150 Canadian, which is 114 with today's exchange rate. Um, when I have other people paying my travel and per diem in advance before I before I go anywhere. Um, roll 20 is why I got to go to Blurred Con and Gen Con. Roll20 paid my hotel. They gave me a $50 per day per diem. They sent it to me by PayPal in advance. They sent me the money for my hotel in advance. Well, and a lot of times people would just like, here's your speaker fee or honorarium. Pro tip, if you are speaking, ask for an honorarium, not a speaker fee, because then it is tax exempt. Because if it's an honorarium, it is technically a gift. Um, I'm speaking at a conference in October, and they are giving me an honorarium and covering my flight in a hotel. And if you speak somewhere, and Chris, this may be good. I didn't know it for a long time, and I want mm, taxes. Ooh, taxes. Um, although you being outside the U.S., I'm not sure how that affects you in terms of paying taxes here and coming in to give talks or whatever. Um, um, is that a lot of people don't understand your time is worth money and it's not just the I got on a plane came to your event spoke for an hour or two hours whatever That's the bare minimum they should offer if you are invited as a guest. Now, big conventions like PAX or whatever, they don't cover anything for panelists beside a badge. And, you know, PAX is not that kind of thing. It's how many tens of thousands of people. They can't afford to pay for everyone as a panelist. If someone is a guest of the convention, yes. Um, it's like if I'm invited to keynote, like last year, no, not, was it last year? Um, there was a conference that I was invited to keynote with Catherine Cross. <laughs> they paid our, our flight and hotel, and actually, or they housed us on campus. And they paid us very well as speakers. Um, I guess it depends on what it is you're going for, French. If, you, if someone says, we would like to invite you to be a guest of the convention, then go, okay, well, here's my, my honorarium. Right, a main attraction, yes, but if you're just going to do a panel, just don't expect anything but a badge. Like GDC, I get a badge, but it's also worth $2,000. So... Um, and you know, and there is a... There is a value in me going to GDC. Um versus sorry um, there's a there is a value added for me going to GDC right so the main attraction but exactly and 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 that's why I got very angry 
with a lot of conventions that want to invite you. Oh no, whenever people want to tell you it leads to more work, that's bullshit. Never believe that. Um, it's why I have fuck you pay me on my um, on my laptop and actually. I must have it in my in my bedroom. Well, I've got a t-shirt, Freelancers Die From Exposure, like the Oregon Trail. Um, no, when people want to talk about exposure or or in the case of like the stuff that they... I'll post it. Please post it, Socks. I can't find it. I know I've got it. I must have put it in my room. Um... My friend did that shirt. And, uh... It looks like the Oregon Trail. Who are you? Sorry, I got rando follows on Twitter. When... Yeah, no, bro. Yeah, that's a junk account that just followed me. I wanted to go look for something, sorry. Yes, I'm. that's what I went to Twitter to look for. Look for their Twitter, but hold on. It's on Redbubble. That's not the shirt I've got. And that did not... Oh, you know why? Because she does not have her name tied to that. Uh, shoot. I really wish Redbubble did not default to white dude. Yeah, if you look up Freelancers Died of Exposure t-shirt, you will find it, but it's like... All Red Bubble, all Teespring, and it's all the same white dude as the example. When the white dude will get paid more. Uh, no, it's Liz Quartz, but I don't know what her online shop is because she doesn't have a real name tied to it. Um. Oh no, Socks, you still dealing with the people? Who breaks shit? Yeah, I know that I bought hers off Redbubble. Of course, now I need to find... Oh, Lilith Darkmoon. That is who to look for. Um, okay. I mean, what was it? Teespring? The person who made the Battle Axe buy stuff? Someone stole their designs, and, um... I want to say it's Little of the Dark Moon. 
And of course I'm getting astrology, so I'll find it. Yeah, but the person who came with like the battle axe buy stuff who just did the pins. These are from their red bubble shop. Hey boss geekery, good morning. Oh, that was the one that had a lot of that like anime body pillow stuff. Um they were I always saw their site as being having stolen designs. Well, we got a little off track, sorry. Uh, but we were talking about getting paid what you're worth and the ways in which people want labor, etc. Um, so for French and for other people, when it comes to when it comes to figuring out an hourly rate, what I do is I think about how much prep time it will take me, my travel time, um, what are they asking of me? Like, do they want me to come in, give this talk and go? Is it spending a full day with them? Is it giving a talk? Is it giving a lecture? Is it ongoing? Is this talk like part of a bigger project? Do we, and always, always have a contract. Even if it's for a two hour talk, a one hour talk, outline what you expect, what must be covered, the terms of getting paid, like if it's net 15, if it's net 30, net 45, although I know very few people that can wait 45 days to get paid. And if you do a speaking engagement, hey GTR, thanks for auto host. They need to pay you by check on the day of the event. I Because especially with colleges, they are terrible with this. Where they'll be like, oh yeah, come and speak and then we'll give you a check 30 days later. No. In your contract, in your estimate, your invoice, and you can make an invoice very easily. Google has a has templates for it. I will send anyone my template if they want it. Um, list out what you're doing, how many hours you estimate, and once you agree on it, convert that to an invoice. And very clearly, um, say net 15, net 30, paid by PayPal if possible is what I always ask for first. If not EFT, and if absolutely can't do it any other way, buy check. Um, because you have to think about what is it. So like if you've still got a regular day job or a job where you're getting paid by the hour currently, let's say your working job, you get paid $18 an hour. And this is just an estimate. Um, like my old day job, I got paid $25 an hour. And this is going to take me four hours to prepare. The actual speech or talk or whatever they're bringing in for is two hours. You multiply that by this time you're going to spend both prepping and for the event, um, travel I wouldn't include, but you would you should specify if taxi um, to from the event or to from the airport if someone isn't picking you up. I would say, oh yeah, we'll bring you in. Everything else, if someone can't come bring you to the event, well I'm gonna get a cab. Will you reimburse me? Um, or if you'll get a per diem, in some places just do straight up per diem. So, you have to figure out, you know, what is your time worth? And then, you know, if it involves travel, are you losing wages if you've got a regular day job? Or are you losing wages because you're doing this versus working on another project? So, so yeah. That's how you put it together. And then you always come up to them with an estimate. I don't know, Sharif, if you're still here, um, how you decide that. Because you are you are doing a tangible sit-down thing where you sit down with someone and tutor them, and that is time you're sitting there with them, but you also have to prep. So I was wondering, how do you calculate your rates for tutoring? Oh no, Ben is having problems with the Final Fantasy app. I mean, that's what I do. I, I kind of conglomerate it. And also, is it a rush? Is this a weekend? Am I... When is this deliverable? How is it deliverable? Do I have to spend time putting together a report for you? Are we having a follow-up meeting? Right. But let's say someone just starting out, what, like, if you had to advise someone on how to set up your fee structure, 
a C, I fidget and I draw. I don't know where it went. I didn't hear it make a go. Because I'm probably undercharging if I'm honest. Okay, so if you have a two hour session and two hour prep, it's four hours total. Do you mind linking your page? Because I've never actually seen how you have your setup. I've got. Uh, I actually set up a page. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. Um, I had set up Ooh, that's not what I wanted Huh I do have an article in Interesting. I did make a portfolio page, but it's not what I wanted. Oh, really, Squid Hat? Hey, Superstar. Good morning. Okay. Wow, what did you what did you wind up doing, Chris? If you don't mind sharing. Okay. Sixteen hours, Jesus Christ. Do people actually sign up for that many hours, Sharif? I mean I'm just I'm just wondering and actually I probably should set up an LLC. That's very true. That's very true, Sharif. Oh, thanks, Superstar. Uh, so I'm a big Dragon Age nerd, and so my f the first three month badge is the Dragon Age Dragon. Um, because I'm a big old nerd that way. Um, I need to update my website though. I need. I need someone who knows more about SEO than me. Uh, actually, I should probably just up. Oh, wait, I get more storage. No, I don't want to do that yet because I haven't got paid. Oh, when I get premium themes? Yes, please. How much am I getting charged right now, though? Oh, $84? No, not yet. I got things to do. Hey, L, how are you? Good morning. Yes, I need someone who knows about SEO. Um, I forgot what SEO stands for, though. I know what it is. I just can't remember. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, ping. Good. I'm so I'm so glad for that, Chris. Wow, that's wild, Sharif. Hey, Timon. Hey, Skylar. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone? Everyone must be waking up on that uh, break if they're on Eastern time. Oh, I did not know that. That's here. I will give you my website. <laughs> Just please make it look better. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to upgrade to a premium plan, but I don't have the money right now on um, for WordPress. And I don't want to dip into Peter to pay Paul, as it were. Um. So 
sorry. Everyone, of course, pings me when I am streaming. Good. We're good, Time. And how about you? Um... Yeah, I still gotta do some laundry. Still gotta uh, do some more cleaning. I've got a meeting at six and I've got work to do in between, but I also wanna just do a check-in stream because I didn't stream at all yesterday and normally Tuesday is a stream day. I just didn't feel like it. And um, let's talk about that because I know there's some streamers in the chat. Uh, Chris broadcasts. Is it okay to say where you work, Chris? I don't want, I don't want to uh, expose you if that is not, not okay. Because some people are fine with saying, uh, yeah, Chris works, oh god, I was going to say XSplit. I, not XSplit, I was going to say Player Me, but that's not right. Which, I'm using XSplit right now, so yay. I need to bug AJ, because I want to ask about the All-Star thing, or the XSplit Elite, or whatever it is, the pro whatever the partner program is for XSplit, because I'm nowhere near the follower count, though. Like, that's required. I don't know if that's still a thing or not. I, saw, I was like, well, that's never going to happen. Okay. Yeah, I just, like, I was sitting there like, it's 5 o'clock, I could stream. Don't feel guilty. But let's talk about that. Let's talk about when you don't feel like streaming. Because, um, Gummy, you've been working a lot and working out, and congrats to you on all the health stuff, because you've been kicking ass. Yeah, I think it's still going on, but I think the minimum is like 10,000 followers, which I'm not even at half of that, so I've given up on, on Streamlabs stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Well, that sounds good. I, I've been trying to do keto and failing at it terribly. I, I like rice and bread too much. It's a struggle, but let's talk about it because I've been feeling like the stream is kind of plateaued and l where'd you go i saw you you said hi and then i lost you awadius how are you what have you been streaming lately oh are you doing monster hunter um on pc or console i'm sorry it is super hot here but the fan of being high creates a buzz on the mic I may just open the window a bit more. Sure, it can be a health stream. Um, yeah, but Gummy's been really kicking ass in the gym and, and doing really well. Um, I've been enjoying your 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 updates. Brandon's been going to the gym too. Uh, I am Brandon. I need to go. I'm paying for a gym membership, and. I have it on my calendar to go at 6 a.m. four days a week. Have I gone? No. Mostly because I've been hot and tired. Um, but yeah, I tried to do keto. I failed at it. M mostly it's a lack of... A lack of discipline. I'm an early bird, Bran. I'm totally an early bird. I will usually be awake by 5 or 6. Hey, Shepard, good morning. Well... I have a buddy who goes to the same gym and they got a job again and uh, we were going to go at 6 a.m. before they go to work. I set an alarm. I woke up at 6. So it has not been happening. I either need to go on my own without them if I oversleep, like still just get up and go. Um, oh, nice. How's that? How is that? I don't have that one yet. I... Uh, Um, so hold on. The worst is when there's nobody talking and you're streaming and I just sit there thinking, what am I doing? Or when I watch 90% of streamers and I think, man, I do not like this content. That makes me reflect, those are my things. Oh, nice. Very cool, Shepard. I, I like the Telltale games, but I also, some of them are super violent for me. Yeah, it, and that's where I'm at. It's just like, there's a lot of things where I feel like I'm treading water. 
It was like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? But I bought weightlifting gloves. And after all my travels, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pack workout clothes and hopefully get in workouts or at least do a lot of walking. Cause that's the thing is like at conventions, I do so much walking, but it's not the same as a cardio workout or, or lifting. And I just need to eat better. It's hard to eat better when you travel. Sorry, I'm fidgeting and making noise. Um, I never streamed a lot after work. Like when I first started streaming over four years ago, I um, I couldn't really do after work. I really couldn't do after work because my old job, my last day job, there were days I worked sometimes 8, 10, 12 hours during the busy period. And I'm not a night person. Hey, White Knight, good morning. How are you? Um, I'm not a night person. I by, by like dinner time, I'm ready to sit down with a glass of wine and a good meal. I like food too much. Let's just admit, I'm short fat ass. I like food. Um... Mental exhaustion is real, though, Penny. Let, let's talk about that. Because when we are on stream, and no matter what your content is, no matter what you're doing, whether it's gaming, cosplay, creative music, you are on. You are performing. You are... Um, and not in a I'm being fake way. I'm sorry, wait. Um, you are, you are presenting in a way that people, and the thing is, the person I am that you are getting, this is who I am. People that have met me can confirm, White Knight, um, other folks that have actually met me in person can confirm, this is who I am. I'm not a different person on stream, but you are still on. I'm sorry, Penny. And Sharif, I never know if you're here or doing stuff, so I don't want to keep like calling you if you're if you're busy. Um, and Brian too, and, and Ben. Um, it's like there are a lot of people who are on for the camera, but if you meet them, they're not the same person. Also, am I? I just I don't be like I'm calling you, and then you're busy and I'm distracting you. Oh my god! Sorry, I'm annoyed because I bought a thing at Gen Con and I didn't have instructions. I bought a... I bought a model kit because I like model kits. And... They don't have instructions for this expensive ass model. They don't have instructions for it. Sorry, I got distracted. Yes, Brian, I was talking about um, the person I am on stream is who you're getting if you meet me in person. Um, right, right, Brian. And, you know, and people don't think about that. Um, it's called code switching for those that aren't familiar. Um, if someone can grab, I, I don't know why I'm asking someone to get a, a thing for me when I'm at home. I can just grab it, grab a link. Wow, and I can't type either. I was about to ask someone to get me a, a thing. Um... Give me the damn definition of code switching in a way. I can explain it. It's okay, Gummy. Code switching, yes. Brian, it is very you. 
That's right, and White Knight has met me in person as well. Uh, it's okay. The work I do does not require a single effort of physical labor, but my mind is always staying alert and does work. I hate my job and dislike the people I work with, so that's also draining. I get home and my stream. I'm too exhausted mentally due to what I deal with at work. Plus, really being trapped in a place where I don't feel I belong, so changing the frown. Oh, exactly, Gummy, exactly. Socks. Oh, no. Socks, can we give some love for socks, please? It is okay. It's totally okay, Gummy. Can we get love in the chat and hearts, whatever heart and hug emotes you have for socks? Um, yes. Yeah, and the good thing is Nightbot is no longer modded for, for now, so you won't get timed out or anything. It'll just fuss at you. Yay, love for socks. Yeah, but Nitz hit me up with a way to get in touch with you, so once I want, I can get you an admin set up for my site. Like, here, please fix it. Hi, Harukio. Thank you for the follow. But it, it's hard. It's so hard. Yeah, Nightbot won't do anything to you. It will just fuss at you. Um, whatever, if you have a WordPress email, that would be the best one, because my site's on WordPress. Unless someone wants to send me a hundred bucks and I can update my upgrade the website now. I'm kidding. Please, no one actually sent me a hundred dollars. I will just wait until I get paid either from Twitch, which may be today. Because I always get the money before I get the email. Nope, not yet. Which means probably later today or tomorrow. Sorry. I was replying to uh, Arkady in chat. Yeah, it's hard, Gummy, because, I mean, I've got a computer science degree. And I'm not doing anything with it. I've got a degree in human-computer interaction. Let me stop fidgeting with that because I'm going to send that to Nitz. Um, look, Gummy, I, today, even today, my alarm went off. I should have got up and went to the gym, kept hitting um, snooze, T finally just turned it off, got up when I felt like getting up, and it's already 1020. I haven't done any work today. Your husband's also a white dude. I've got a computer science degree. And I also went to school when I was older. Um, I went to school like at 25. Didn't finish for 12 years. No, I was younger than 25. Um, so I've got the degree, but I'm older. I don't have a year's... Um, you know, unemployed, unpaid internship. My partner has an art degree, a two-year art degree, and he's been working in IT for the last 12 years. But he also is one of those rare people that literally worked his way up from the mailroom. So. Get some hay. I'll probably be here for a bit. Um, I may switch to a game. I don't know. Let's put one keep doing dog show. 
because I didn't stream at all yesterday, and I want to stream, get some work done. Um, wow, socks. All right, bye, Callie. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, Contra Domini. Yeah, CS is... CS is interesting. But being a black woman, there's not a lot of people that are in CS. And, you know, we don't really... We don't really get a lot of folks that get into IT and stay in IT. Because it's always the, how'd you get here? Did you really work this way? Or they want, like, just... All the usual bullshit you gotta deal with as a, a femme presenting person in tech. I'm trying to get better about my language and not always say female or woman. Um, so, man, that imposter syndrome though. So, hand up in the chat if you have imposter syndrome. And if you don't know what it is, I will go grab a, a definition for you. But all the stuff I've done, all of it, all of it, um, I still feel like a fucking fake. <laughs> See? See? Um, it is. It's total bullshit. I mean, I'm going to be in a museum exhibit. Um, I'm getting asked to do keynote addresses. So somebody likes what I do. Nope, you did not trick your way into it, Harukyo. I look, Squid Hat, I worked for myself now for a couple years. And if it gets to the point where I gotta go back in and get get a job, hey, I don't know if I can function working for other people. Cause I've got my own schedule. You're very qualified, Socks. It's it it's hard, Sam, because when you when you want to take days off, or because you've got to take a day off, and you just feel like I can't today, like yesterday, I could have even done a quick 20 minute stream, done some Street Fighter, done something just to still stream on a day that I said I'm streaming, but I didn't. I couldn't, I, nothing appealed to me to share with people. And today I was like, I've got work to do, but I feel like having a chat with the community. And this is the kind of stuff where it feels like people are more engaged. And it's, it's more personal than playing a game, if that makes sense. Sorry, my head, it's just, I really, really need to wash my hair or use this leave-in conditioner and scalp care. Oh, congratulations, Penny! Look, okay, and, and I will say this, and granted, not everyone can afford to take days off. Um, if you can take time off, And you've got uh, a, either a way to get paid, you've got sick time, whatever. Take that day, because at the end of the day, they will replace you. No one is irreplaceable. Oh, hey, Star Lord. Um, there's a shit ton of people making videos tagged Walk Away, where black, Asian, white people all saying we're walking away from the left and Democrats. Okay. That's not the way that I'm going, but all right. Republicans are not really getting us in this. Yeah, I'm not sure where that comment is coming from, Star-Lord. Yeah, I'm just like, where is that going? That was very odd. And 
I mean, they're, the Democrats ain't shit, let's just be honest. But going Republican is where how we got here, so... Yeah, no. Yeah. It was very out of left field. It's probably someone who was lurking. It's probably a bot account, to be honest. Let's see. They've got 22 followers and 240 views total. That it doesn't mean anything. They have nothing. They have no videos. Yeah, no. Yes. So where we were going? Yes, please, please, Brian. It sounds very fake. Um, actually, let's just time them out to be safe. If you want to come back in ten minutes and actually participate in the discussion, feel free. Um. So we were talking about imposter syndrome. And granted, okay, how many people here have heard my story of why I do this full time? Oh no, Amara, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think view count is frozen because it hasn't changed from 49 in a minute. I know people said bye because they have to go to work. I'm so sorry, Amara. I've not quite hit panic, but I have hit the... Why the fuck am I here? So you've not heard this story, White Knight. Okay, so White Knight hasn't... Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's been saying 49 for me for a while. So I'm not going to refresh chat. I'll worry about that later. But for a while, especially when I stream directly from the PS4, it'll say zero no matter how many f people are watching. And I thought it was a PS4 thing, but I think it's just a Twitch thing. Because, um, Xplit is fine, no drop frames, 30 FPS, we're good. And very high bitrate, so. Okay, Ruko. Look, don't go out there and get asthma because of that fucking air. Um, and White Knight, I hope I get to see you at PAX. I will be in town for a week. Okay, so I used to work in higher ed, for those that don't know. I used to be an international student advisor. And I worked at universities for 16 years. And after two universities, two very bad bosses, FMLA leave because of stress and going on anti-anxiety medication for a while. I will never work in higher ed. I don't care what I, I'd rather live with my mother than work in higher ed again. Yeah, I'll be in town. I get in kind of late on the 27. Um, It, what does that mean, Squid Hat? How bad is that? I don't understand the air quality numbers. Um, but back to the story. So, when... Oh, thank you for the sub, Mon... Mon Mon Hana, Honey. Thank you for the sub. Yay, we're almost to our sub goal for the day. Um, can I get hype in the chat for... Um, for the new sub? Welcome. Um, oh Jesus, so that's really bad. Oh, okay then. Well, shit. Please don't go outside and die. Please, White Knight. Um, but back to the story. So, the job I was at, at IIT, Illinois Institute of Technology, I don't give a fuck about telling people where it was because I hated working there. Um... When I got hired, it was because someone else got promoted, um, and she became an assistant director. The woman who hired me eventually moved on. She wanted to go back to Michigan and got a job at MSU. We, hired, we promoted from within. This was not a good idea. Um, because she basically wanted someone to be just like her. She never liked that I didn't do the job exactly like her, and my previous job where I'd taken a month, I'd taken the summer off, 
Like, it got so bad at the old job at DePaul, I looked into FMLA leave for mental health, and I, I skipped calling HR because I knew HR wouldn't help me. By the way, HR is not your friend. Never call HR for anything. They are useless. They only care about the company. Um, I just called the people who facilitated the leave directly, and I was like, here's what's going on. I'm going to have a breakdown if I stay at this job and this office. And they were like, we're emailing you some paperwork. Go to your doctor. And you can call in and just be like, I'm on FMLA leave effective today. You'll get the paperwork from the doctor. And that's what I did. And so with no notice, I think maybe three days notice. Hey, Skywise, good morning. Um, I took FMLA leave for the whole summer. And they had to pay me because I hated that job. I hated the job, and I was having panic attacks every day, getting up, thinking about going to work, and I had to take meds to function that summer. So I was like, deuces. So I had that trauma going into the job at IIT. Um, there's the department. I don't know. I know it's you have to audition and to, to get in and stay in. Um... And so that was where I had some really bad abuse, emotional abuse from, from the supervisor. The second job. The first job was shitty. I just didn't like it because I didn't make any money. That boss was eh. Um, and so I, came, I, I left DePaul because they basically cleaned house for everyone he brought in when they got rid of the assistant VP for embezzling. And was only out of work like a month and a half. Got the job at IIT. Was there that last year though. So the person who hired me kept doing shit. Like they wouldn't give me any additional time. Wouldn't give me resources. Expect me to still advise students. Submit a report to CVIS, which is the Student Exchange Visitor Information System. Within 30 days of each term starting for 3,000 students and their whereabouts. Advise students. Get a report out daily on our numbers and how many students were checking in to the provost, the president, the vice president. And this was ridiculous. And so that last year, two things happened. Our boss took her second leave and for a maternity leave. While she was gone, they reviewed everyone's jobs in the university and then told us our jobs should not have been salaried advisor jobs where we had to be there early we had to stick around for orientation coming on weekends for orientation and they said we should not be salaried so after they paid us our back pay and ot's they owe me like six thousand dollars um oh it gets worse chris it gets worse yes they said that our job should never have been salaried so they made us hourly but here's the fucked up way that it went down uh the person who was associate director the only one who stayed salary along with the director put HR appointments on our calendars and didn't tell us why until we had that call with HR the first person who went through it then told everyone else what the deal was and we're like oh okay so you're fucking with our money and this is all while our, our boss is out on maternity leave she could be bothered to have a call with the assistant director associate director but not actually call the actual employees and and then so we find out about this we find out what everything is we find out we're also losing vacation days because we're hourly and this is like when i was really doing stuff for any diverse games it was becoming a second job at this point in 2015. and so we get we have a meeting that friday after everyone's been informed the person who informed us is like oh this takes effect with the new pay period on sunday we had no grace period we didn't know how long this would take to take effect. We thought it'd be like, what the fall with the new school year? We'd at least get through the summer. No, it was immediate. And uh, because we are now going the fuck, because I had plane tickets. I had other stuff I had lined up using the last of my vacation. I was now going to be short vacation time with shit I couldn't change. We did not have a good meeting. 
uh, the associate director wound up going out, stomping out of the room, saying, "Well, you all are. You all can leave right now. You're still fucking salaried until until the end of the day. This is three o'clock on a Friday. Three o'clock on a Friday, mind you." And stomps out of this room, crying. A grown ass woman in her thirties. Unfriends everyone, blocks everyone on Facebook, etc. Is deep in her feelings. Comes in Monday, stays in her office all day. Locks the door. We don't know that she's actually in there. She, we only know she's at work because she has come out. Oh, yes. This was like, why am I going to leave an hour early? Fuck you. But she swore at us. Stomped out of the room crying. Acted like we were at fault for being mad about this bullshit. And then Tuesday morning, I had an office that was all glass. Like, if I wasn't there, you knew I wasn't there. She comes into my office and tries to talk to me. And I'm just looking through her like, um, oh yes, very much white woman. And I have a story about that because I saw her recently. Um, and it's, it comes in to try to talk to me. <gasps> oh God. Wow, that's ridiculous, Harukio. I'm so sorry. Um, and then, and I'm like, "What do you want? I'm hourly. I can't. No, I'm I'm about to start advising because knowing what my job entailed, they weren't gonna let me get off the hook for advising because we're also short a person. They want me to still advise students, do this reporting, and do it all within a seven and a half hour day because lunchtime didn't count." And we were late, we got docked. Now this is going from a full-time salary gig to I'm basically, I gotta watch every second I'm away from my desk. I'm like, do I have to clock in and out if I go pee? What the fuck? But she comes in and she wants to talk to me and she's like crying because we're all mad. And I'm like, and I'm just like, I'm supposed to start advising in a half hour, what do you want? And then she was surprised that I realized she blocked everyone on like Facebook and whatever and I was like oh you didn't think we'd notice my Facebook went down by one I can do simple math and we all talked to each other you unfriended and blocked everyone in this office now granted we were a small office still probably shouldn't have been on Facebook together but this is what it is lesson learned And, uh, starts crying. And I was literally like, what the fuck are you crying for? You're still salaried. Get out of my office. And so things went downhill. Our boss eventually did call in and have a conference call with all of us. And we're all like, it's too late. The damage is done. The damage is done. And so she comes back, everything else, and none of us are happy. I can't get my work done. I could never get all that done in eight hours, which is why I work at home and come in when it was reporting season. I wouldn't advise students, and that was part of the whole thing. And it was, oh, so I got put on a work improvement plan. Um, survived that, got a retroactive raise. Keep in mind, I didn't prove enough to get a retroactive raise because I didn't get a raise at the time everyone else did. And things are still not okay. And I knew things weren't great, but I did not think it was, a, I'm going to leave, take a couple days off, something that's been planned for months, come back, and let me move my office, because we had moved offices. Where I knew this was happening before I left. Let me set up the office, and then call me into a meeting on my personal cell phone at noon. To let me go. And then tried to go back two years. If I'd been that bad of an employee for two years, two, tried to pull shit from me on me from two years ago, I was like, okay. Okay. So I threw my keys at her. I threw my debit or the school credit card at her because we had one. And I was like, fuck you. Don't you dare sit here and try to act like 
you're sorry that I should have seen this coming. And did this 10 days before Christmas after I'd come back from Game Rex 3. And then had the nerve. Oh, yes. I threw those fucking keys, the credit card, work ID. I was like, fuck you. Fuck all of you. Did this 10 days before Christmas. Hey, Button Mash. Good morning. In 2015, if, if anyone goes back in my blog that far. Like, at this point, I had Patreon. It was pocket change. It wasn't anything. Look. Oh, I... And then, the killer, the fucking killer thing was... Send an email like I had quit. Send an email like, we wish you well in your new endeavor. There was no fucking new endeavor. There was no new endeavor. So I forwarded that email back to everyone I saw an email address for at IIT and was like, this is a lie. Here's what happened. Let's be clear. Oh yes, Penny, yes. Hey Aura, good morning. And so I did cry on the way home. I did not give them satisfaction of, of seeing me cry at this office. So fast forward, you all have seen I Need Diverse Games Grow and everything else and, and all the Patreon. Um, the woman who pulled the shit with the crying and whatnot, I see her on my way back from PAX because she's got people in Boston. And she pulls the, oh my god, it's you, I'm so glad to see you. And I was like, get your hand off me. Don't talk to me. Never again. And you could just see the look on her face. Like she really thought it was somehow A-OK -okay to talk to me. And to do the, the gentle hand on my arm like we were buddies that hadn't seen each other. No, she wasn't crying yet. I'm sure she cried on the flight because I had a, fr I had a fr like 10th row seat and so I was on the plane before her oh you can cuss white knight you're not going to get timed out for cussing um and I just and I was just sitting there like this half for real for real really real just tried to pull the it's so good to see you I've been thinking about you when you're the one that walked me to my office and made sure it's secure and stood there thinking I was going to take some shit. She touched, she did the very genteel, um, oh my god, I'm so glad to see you. And I'm like, did you just touch me? Did you just put your hand on me? And then, she's lucky I didn't just jar. I mean, to be honest. Because it was like, you ever hate someone? And you don't know if you'll ever see them again, but you know, you don't know what you'll do should you see them. But I'm like, I'm trying to get on my plane. I want to go home. If I beat this white woman, I'm going to go to jail. And I won't get on the plane home. That is the only thing that kept me from knocking her the fuck out. Because I hate her that much. I really fucking hate her. I have a very short list of people that I hate that much. Um, the fuck is this? Sorry, I got some random ass... email with how to help your business grow. What the fuck? Sorry. I just had that... Where did this come from? It's like one of those I liked one thing and so now I'm on their mailing list. Look, I have a literal Google Doc with people I don't work with. 
see Amara, the sad thing is my list has a lot of black folks on it. Which is sad, because as we know, skin folk ain't always kin folk. There's a lot of black folks that I don't fuck with. Um, oh, pretzel. What happened to you, pretzel? Oh, that sucks, ass queen. Oh, did I give you a shout out? I did, yes, earlier. And I got it right, yay. Um, apparently my internet flickered for a hot second, because pretzel even stopped working. Um, look, can I tell you... Alright, I'm gonna get some other... I need some other meat. Oh, ambient. Let's see what's in ambient. Oh, true. J-Rock, thank you for the sub. Can I get some love in the chat for J-Rock? How are you, friend? How's your foot? Oh my god, I saw your tweet about, um, about, uh, the thing rolling over your foot. How are you doing? Ignore Nightbot. It's not modded. It can't do anything to you because I got tired of it. I got raided and uh, And it was timing people out so I unmodded Nightbot uh, And J-Rock just got partner not too long ago and uh, J-Rock's claim to fame is that he does speedrunning a lot of Resident Evil but plays with his feet how are you, J-Rock? Good morning. What'd you say, Penny? Um, sorry, I was missing something. J-Rock, J-Rock can probably, uh... We were, we were just talking about folk, skin folk who ain't kin folk. Um, it's always good to hear folks being concerned about people they choose to surround themselves with. Cause it's choice. So look. Yes, uh, hey, Critical Knit. Good morning. Um... J-Rock's amazing. I hope everything is okay and you don't, it's not broken or anything. Yeah, J-Rock was, been a little over two months now, a month and a half. Yeah, Oni hasn't got partnered yet and I'm, I'm salty. Because Oni, Oni was killing it by the time they looked at his application. He didn't have the numbers, so I'm a little salty. Oh wow, it's only been a month and a week. It feels like you've been partnered longer. Um... Okay, let me pull up Muxy. Sorry. Yeah, but we were just, uh, we were just talking about how skin folk ain't kin folk. Because some folks, man. Well, it was wild, because I saw your tweet and I was like, what? Oh, no. That's bullshit, Sam. I'm so sorry. Oh no, some shit like that and be like, I gotta go. Like deuces. Yeah, are are you squared away for TwitchCon, J Rock? You're cause you're doing a What the fuck? I know I couldn't do retail. I mean, as it is, I get annoyed. Um, I get annoyed when I'm somewhere and people at, treat me like I work there. And I'm like, if this is how you talk to folks who don't actually work here. How do you talk to people that do work here? Look, Amara, look. I know I couldn't do retail. I, I would get fired in the first day. Um, I just, I can't do it. I don't have the patience. Because the way people talk to retail workers... I haven't been in a GameStop since I bought the PS4 Pro. 
Oh, really? White Knight? You were nicer than I am. You wouldn't have got shit. Oh, I bet. So, we... So, um... I was with Malevent. Wal in Walgreens here. And... We were walking around GameStop. I had on my N7 hoodie, jeans, gym shoes. This dude walks right up to me and asks me where some shit is, and I'm just looking at him like, Ain't Nary got on a Walgreens shirt, jacket, nothing. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Oh shit, J Rock. I am so glad your coworker looked out for you. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, how could they not see you? You are tall. You're a tall dude. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. That's like negligence. What the fuck? I am so glad your coworker was looking out for you. Whew, cause that that would have been it. Wow. I I am ooh. I am scared of trains. Um Is he off your rotation, off your group in ten days or Oh, Amara, thank you so much for the resub, if I didn't say so already. I'm scrolling back to see what I missed. Someone named Toxic Femme hosted. Is that a real Twitch? Hey, Queen Llama, how are you? Hey, Akita, how are you? Good morning. We're just chatting. Thanks for the host, J-Rock. Um, oh yeah, uh, I was at O'Hare Airport. I was at O'Hare Airport. And I was walking around the terminal because I was super early for a flight. Um, as I've got... Alright, bye. Have a good dinner. Dinner? It's like... Oh, it is about dinner time for you. I was going to say dinner because there's only 11 here. Um... um Oh, thank you for the sub, Queen Llama. Thank you. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime with us. Yeah, it, I said that and then realized, remembered that you are in the UK. Well, I've got pre-check, but I still have the habits of before I had TSA pre-check. And so I will get there early, usually, unless it's really bad, like a holiday, I can get the security fairly quickly. So I will usually have all this time, especially for early morning flights, because I've got to take a lift or some or cab to the airport. Um, and for new folks, I'm I'm not I'm like my nose keeps getting itchy. Um, can I get more hype in the chat for that sub from Queen Lava? Um, I'm I'm not bad doing this for a bit because I didn't stream yesterday. Oh, I've been in I've been in the pre-check lines of SeaTac. Uh, it depends, because I try to check a bag when I can, or have a carry-on. Um, yeah, N Nightbot is defanged. Look, Amara. Yeah, that's Seattle's airport. Look, pre-check is amazing, because I have to take shit out of my bag. I ain't got to take my shoes off. If I've got a lot of electronics on me, I will get my bag searched, but, um, but yeah, I was at O'Hare Airport at an early flight, West Coast, and I'm wandering around the terminal because, like, I get antsy, and I'd already had food, I didn't want to just sit there for, like, another 40 minutes before we boarded, um, oh, thank you. Sorry, I heard a weird noise. 
Um, and this woman comes up to me and starts asking where gates are, and I'm like, I am in a t-shirt and jeans. I've got to carry on with me. Why? Why? I ain't got security vest. I ain't got a badge. Got nothing to identify me as an airport employee. And I just looked at her like, it's early. I've had one cup of coffee. And I was just like, um, I'm like, I don't work here. And I know it was kind of sharp because it was early. Oh no, socks. Some wife. Wow, I, I talked about you and you are here. I was talking about when we when you were visiting Chicago, not this last time. Um but before. Socks, you need some love. Okay, Socks, you're making me want to like get on a plane to you and like come cook for you and take care of you. I wish I could afford it. I would totally do that. Oh, and Queen Llama, you made us hit our daily sub goal. Thank you. Ooh, that sounds like a lot. Um, Socks, maybe... Aw, uh, I would clean up my apartment for you. This is probably the nicest my apartment has looked in a while, at least the living room. Yeah, that's heavy. I've been... I, I don't know how I feel about it, because I... I get very angry and upset when I get called sir. And it happens a lot on the phone. It also translates into Twitch when um, people assume you're a dude and they say guy or man or dude. And it irritates the utter fuck out of me. But when I get called sir, like if I'm doing voice only, or there have been times, and I, I was doing a, a talk show stream and someone came in and said I look like a man with down syndrome because they kept calling me sir and I was like okay what do I do with this but I don't want to feel like I'm co-opting someone with actual gender dysphoria it's just something that irritates me it's not something that gets to me like it would to like socks or, or someone with who's with with gender stuff so, we need to go rest. We need to scoop up socks and bring them to your house so we can still have our, our mini con that did not happen. Huh. Uh, Acid Queen, do you need anything? I, I see your post here about, uh, food and meds. If I could, Socks, I totally would. Look, Queen, and that's, and that's part of why I, uh, I mean, at least Socks is driving distance. I've got to fly to you. I wish I was driving distance, and I wish I kind of had a car and I could just get up and go. Um, oh yeah, Queen, it's... Hi, Mahdi, thank you for the follow. I've had the most we weird, rude shit said to me when I've been on camera. Um, obviously, when we do um, front page stuff, it gets worse. Oh, sucks. I'm sorry. Is there anything we can do, Acid Queen, to help you get your meds? It's a money thing or something. Let us know. So I'm sure that folks that can spare it would help. I'm just waiting on my Twitch payout, which did not hit today, so I'm guessing it'll be there tomorrow. Just doing a quick scroll. Okay. 
Thanks, Gummy. Oh, you need the actual script. Okay. Thanks, Gummy. Thank you for hanging out. Are you uh, headed out now? Uh, I'm. I've been better. Some wife. Still in a weird headspace. Um, stressings. I. I think I told you that that payment I was expecting that I thought was EMT is now being a check. Is mailed to me. So now I'm going to be stress checking the mail every single day. Hopefully this check gets here before PAX and at least, or it comes here while I'm at PAX and I have the money for London because that's a lot of money and I will, I will stress about a check that size being in the mail to begin with. Um, yeah, you can't go that long without meds, Acid Queen. I mean, do you want to remind them? Oh, okay, I thought you had to leave, Gummy. Uh, do you want to remind them about the last time that you ran off meds and ran out of meds and that you need this to function? Um, is there like an emergency care you can do? But sadly, I cannot write a script for anyone. I'm happy to see you too, Gummy. Uh, although I am going to stop soon-ish because it's already 11, I haven't done any work today. I've got a meeting at 6, and in between that I need to be writing. Uh, not until Monday the 27th, but the check's coming from Canada. And uh, I won't be in Canada, so for those that are just popping in now, I won't be going to uh, Quintus and Games Conference because the grant they gave me was only 150 Canadian and that won't even get me a flight there. Hey Gilb, good morning or afternoon I should say for you. And Sky, when did you pop in? I hope I said hi. Yes, but um, so yeah, no Quirkness and Games Conference for me. Alright, enjoy the gym as much as you can. Harukio, thank you for coming in and following and saying hi. What's up, Gil? Um. Okay. No worries, Sky. I just, I didn't know if I'd said hi. I always make sure I say hi to regulars. Alright, bye, Socks. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy lunch. And if you need anything, I'm here. I'll be in, I'll be in Discord. And then later tonight after my meeting, I can totally uh, hop on Final Fantasy if you want. To just chat and hang out. Okay, and it's, is it past 8 for you, Acid Queen? Can you get up and go tomorrow? I mean, do you have to, Malavit? Do you really have to? Oh no. Oh wow, to the Philippines. I mean, well, it's already 11. Is it 11 for you or 12? Alright, Sox, we love you. Um... Oh, so you're an hour behind me, okay. Wait, did you... So you did go to work, White Knight, or you are remoting in? Oh, okay, so you're now a mountain, all right. So question for you all. Um, normally I don't stream today. But I was debating on switching to a game for a little bit, or maybe throwing it over to Misty, because it's 11. I've only had coffee, I need to eat, because I don't want some wife yelling at me. Um, I did have something for breakfast, but it wasn't satisfying. Um, and I know Guild just got here, so I'm not ending right this second. But was wondering what folks are talking about. Um, and what you want to talk about. We, uh... Yes, go get food. Food will help. Even if it's temporary sustenance, food will help. Because um, I want to paint stuff, because I haven't finished Dorian. This Dorian. Although I'm not sure how I feel about the bright silver and blue. I almost want to strip him again. I have a pizza, Malvin. I'm going to throw it in the oven. 
yeah, so I still haven't finished this. Um, it'll probably zoom in a little too much and be fuzzy. But notice his face is not done. You're not an idiot. You need to drink water. Bye bye, country domini. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out, everyone who's popped in before work or from work, especially. Um, yeah, water. I'm surprised that a uh, hydrate bot has not yelled at me because I've been on for a bit. Yeah, hydrate bot usually yells at me by now. I'm surprised. Usually in that first hour, it's like, hey. Well, have caffeine, White Knight, but also get water. Caffeine, then water, so you don't dehydrate because it's too much caffeine. I'm going to get water once I'm done with this. It's almost empty. And Genki is laying here like he hasn't done anything wrong lately. Caffeine is delicious. I love caffeine. Um, how some ever. Water is good for us, and I say this as someone who needs to, uh, who have more water. So Genki's in trouble because I, um, I bought another litter box. The other one was too small. This one had a door on it, and apparently he didn't like the door. He peed and went, he went outside the box on either side, one of each thing, outside the box um, so yeah that was fun getting cat pee out of a hardwood floor and it still may smell later one thing is I have hardwood floors and I don't want them to sue me um, or or give me a problem if I ever move out of this apartment so there's a two bedroom in my building that I want to look at and I don't want them to come back and say oh you damaged the floors Oh, I know, White Knight. But, you know, taking a poop outside the box, no big deal. Can pick it up and flush it. If he pees on a hardwood floor, it ruins the floor and also will stain it and discolor it. Um, because the guy who I rented from initially sold the building, and these people all refunded our deposits for some reason. So there is no security deposit on my apartment. <laughs> And I do want to look at this two-bedroom and see if it's worth it, because I think it's like same amount of space, but a two-bedroom. And I don't know if I want to move or not. It would literally be across the courtyard. But it's also a garden unit, which I'm not sure about. One thing is, I, I'm not catching it when he does it. It must have been like overnight, and he didn't like the, cat, the door on the litter box. So I took the door off. That seems to be a thing. The other box was just literally too small for him if the top was on it. So, so that one's gone. I used the old litter, put in some fresh litter, so he would know it was his litter box. I could, but if it's very small and I think I lose the dining room, I need to email the tenant and come look at it. Um... So, that's part of it. That's creepy. Um, sorry, um, someone I support on Patreon also has a newsletter. And I got an email saying, hey, my software thing tells me you haven't been reading my emails. Um, and I'm like, I do read your emails. That's creepy. That's very creepy. Oh, I know, Penny. I mean, I could write off part of this, too. I could write off part of my rent. Because I do work at home, and this is the registered address for I Need Diverse Games, so... Oh no, what's bad is, I wonder if I deleted it. Let me see if I deleted it or not. Um, there was an email I got that said, hey, not to be a stalker, but I 
Here it is. Here it is. So this is one line from it, and I'm like, this is creepy. Yeah, I my software tells me you open my emails, but you haven't been reading them. So that's an email, a line from an email I actually got. Okay, not sound like a creeper, but still. And it was one of those stream influencer thingies. All right, bye. Have a good lunch, Boss Geekery. I'm going to do the same shortly. So I'm going to probably end up, wind up at 11.30. Right, but I'm like, if I if I opened your email but not replied, that should tell you something. Um, so this is supposedly getting sponsored. Although, the very first person I see is someone... Okay, so this is something I'm not sure how I feel about, but the but the photo is someone that I know. Oh, that's a lot. I'm so sorry. That is a very long email. Um, so let's see what happens. writing it and I'm just like what the fuck right that's a total marketing thing but you don't then email people with I saw that you opened my email so it's it's like woo it this is literally all it is so there's stream loot this is literally just like fucking move it. Now, I don't know if this is because I'm sponsored or not sponsored, partnered, but it literally is like it's like woo bit. But Cyborg Angel is on there. That's the first place. That is the first face that I see. Um, um, Cyborg Angel is on it and I trust her. So for those that have not heard it, move it. Um, W-O-V-I-T is a good place if you are a streamer looking for like stream keys and stuff. Um, Versus Evil's been doing that for um, their game, so like Banner Saga. Um, some stuff does require you to be a partner. So, we'll see. Well, let's see what happens. The thing is, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I had gotten affiliate with um, Clutch Chairs, but then they sponsored PewDiePie, so I was like, we're done. We're done here. Describe my stream. I don't know how the fuck to describe my stream. I don't know. Um... All right, bye, base. Have a good one. I like Move It Gummy. I don't know anything about Streamfluence, um, but Cyborg Angel is using it apparently. She's a big partner streamer in the UK. So, seeing her face on there makes me feel a little better. 
Um, I've been getting random stuff. Like, I keep getting stuff that's like... Like, this is for artists. I don't do art. Like, why would you send me this? I'm, I'm not an artist. And this is like, clearly they just bought a bunch of names from whatever. And they don't know what you actually do. And I, I have no idea how to fucking describe my stream. It was so good to see you, and thank you again for coming by and subbing. Good. Oh, you're welcome. Um, so that's where a lot of people are getting Banner Saga from. Um, Wuvid is good. But there's some offers on there, like, share sponsorship. The one I saw wanted, like, 15,000 Twitch followers, so many subscribers. You had to be a partner, and I'm like... I'm good, bro. I'm good. Um, no, Streamlabs, give me money. Oh yeah, Rivals of Oh shit, I need to update Rivals of Waterdeep command. Hey, Akita. I try to keep it chill, Akita. Um, I, I try to... I mean, the only time I really, like, kind of cuss a lot and really go in is, uh, when I am streaming games. Especially, like, Mafia 3 or something. I, uh, I get a little excited. But here, just like, occasionally I'll do this. I'll throw up a let's check in chat or if something's going on. I will uh, be like, hey, let's chat about, you know, kind of current events. It's not often, and I didn't stream yesterday. I just, I wasn't feeling it. I wanted to kind of just chat, see what's up, see how people are doing. Um, see how folks are feeling. And, and the conversation just flowed naturally. But I am getting a little distracted because I'm super hungry. So, and I've been on for a bit. I've been on, like, what, almost three hours? So I'm actually going to throw it over to Imperial Girl, who is doing, um, okay. Uh, I am not in the cookout anymore. I am. I'm going to go, I'm going to go make this pizza, and I need to pay attention so I don't burn it. They don't, Queen Llama, they don't. They just, people. So last thing before I end the stream, getting back to streaming and, and mental health, a lot of people will burn out on streaming because they force themselves to do it. They feel like if I don't stream every day, if I don't do these super long streams, if I'm not present, I'm going to lose subs, I'm going to lose followers, I'm going to lose everything. Or, you know, like, like I'm, I've got a lot of travel coming up. Oh, you're so welcome, Penny. It's always good to see you all here. Um, and that's why I think a lot of people burn out. Well, thanks for the for the bits, Penny. Um, as a Misty, Imperial Girl, who I'm going to throw it to you, talked about that. Like, people that she stream started streaming with, a lot of people don't stream anymore. And people will tell you, oh, you've got to stream every day. You have these long-ass streams. you got to do all this gimmicky shit to get partnered. you got to, like, you know, have a persona blah 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 you don't be yourself because the thing is if i come to your stream and what i see is clearly fake i'm not gonna stay i'm not gonna subscribe i'm not gonna follow or i'll unfollow if you're not someone who has a good community i'm not gonna stay because twitch has already got enough problems with having good community having safe communities that I'm not going to contribute to that by being the community of someone who doesn't care. Or someone has, like, I don't, I don't begrudge anyone trying to get partnered. Because there are perks to it. However, 
Some people think, no, it's fine, Alaris. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alarius. Thank you. And actually, I just retweeted our um, our most current episode. It's on D and D's Twitch channel. Oh, do you stream too, Akita? Yeah, um, we got two more episodes, and then uh, a little break, and we're still discussing season two. Um, for those that don't know, we did have a change of GM. Carlos Luna is now our GM, so Knock Knock is now an NPC. Well, back to what I was saying so I don't lose my thought. Um, a lot of people act like they have to be on. They, they see what successful people are doing. And yes, you can take cues from people that are succeeding and something you want to do. But if that's not you, if you want to, if you see someone that's super popular, super successful, you can kind of follow what they've done. But a lot of times before they got to that level of success, they hustled. They fucking hustled and they worked hard and we don't see that. We don't get to see the struggles. We don't get to see all the times that they applied for partner and got denied. We don't get to see all the times that they tried to get sponsored and got denied. We don't get to see all the times that they just fucking couldn't get out of bed or streamed even though they didn't want to. Because um, at a certain point, you also have to realize that once you have a presence and once you have fans, as much as I fucking hate the word, um, and that's my own personal thing, I, I feel a way about fans, saying fans. I feel very weird saying I have them, but people will say that they are my fan you have a responsibility but also especially when you're a person of color when you are black when you are female when you are queer and you are out whether or not you realize it you your presence means something to someone whether or not you realize it you're consciously doing it whether you're just being yourself you are affecting other people whether or not you ever find out whether or not they ever email you or come in your stream or tweet at you being present means a lot and it's why i'm so glad that we're doing rivals of Waterdeep. it's why i i don't try to be this persona because people are going to craft what they think of you without your permission there are people who probably there are, i know there are people who hate me who think I'm fake, that I didn't work for what I've done, that think I'm lucky. I can't stop them from thinking that. That this is work. And this is why when I do panels about streaming, when I do panels about what I do, running a nonprofit, all this other stuff, there's going to be work. There's going to be hard work. It's going to suck. You're going to get told no a lot. Your faves are going to disappoint you. Because there's so many people that I followed. I love their stream. I thought that they were genuine. And this is when I first started watching Twitch. I met them and I was like, Oh, wow. You. Yay, I'm so glad to hear that, Queen Llama. Are you streaming your games? Please tell me so, so I can, uh, so I can make sure I catch your, your games. Let me make sure I'm following you too. Um, okay, Twitch. Let, let's not let's not be this way. Oh, okay. I mean, that's cool. It's just I got excited because I, I want more brown folks playing D&D. &D. Look. Well, he, and part of that skull tits, and I do like your name, um, is that we put people on pedestals. We, we create this persona, we create what they think, what we think of them versus 
what they actually are. That we forget that they're people. We forget that they are regular as human beings that sleep, drink, go to the bathroom, or take a shower, have shitty days just like the rest of us. We put people um, on these pedestals. And then we often... The people that are put on pedestals, I shouldn't say we, because, but I've had had that experience where someone thought X of me when I'm like, the fuck? What are we talking about here? Um, oh, awesome. That's so great. That's so good to hear, Akita. Um, and that's true, Gummy. I mean, I started streaming strictly as a fucking hobby. The big Dragon Age, I already wanted to show Dragon Age. That's what I did. Um, and, uh, but people will put you on pedestals. And that, that's why I'm always leery of saying, like, I admire people, or not even admire that I, that someone's, like, looking up to people can be very dangerous because a lot of times when you look up to them, you get hit in the face with, with reality. Um, what, especially when someone crafts a persona on Twitch, on Twitter, whatever, they will disappoint you. Just accept this. They will fucking disappoint you. And... Um, it sucks. And I've had people that thought X of me. And when I don't fill whatever persona that they've created or crafted, or what they think they know of me, say follow me on Twitter or read an article, then reality doesn't match up because this was nothing I signed on for. This was nothing I agreed to. This was nothing that people understood or think they understood about me. Anna! I see you, Anna. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, refresh. Hopefully that helps, Anna. Um, but we are going to wind up soon because I'm super hungry. I've been on for a little bit. Um, I've had that, though, with chat. Because, my again, the view number has not changed for me at all in the last hour and a half. So... Well, and short streams means you can you can enjoy a game, you can do like a few missions, be have fun with it, and you don't feel like you are forced to be on for a long time. So do what's comfortable for you. Um, I did a streaming one-on-one chat a while back, and a lot of people think like I've got to spend an arm and a leg to be successful. I've got to go out and spend like thousands of dollars, get all this channel art, have emotes right to start. You don't. You can turn on your PS4 or your Xbox One or, or hook up your Elgato or something and stream that way. You don't have to do all, especially if you don't like streaming, because some people will look at streamers that are successful. They think you're making all this money. We don't. Spoiler. And think, I can do that too, because they literally think, I'm just going to go play Fortnite. I'm going to go play whatever game. It's not that. You have to think about what am I playing? Am I going to play a new release? Am I trying to, to get access to early games? Am I streaming indie stuff? Am I doing tabletop? Am I doing crafting? Um, what is it that I'm doing? What is it about me that will make people want to stay? Not gimmicky shit, because I don't, I don't believe in doing gimmicky shit. I don't believe in streaming just one game. That's me. That's that's me. I don't believe in building your stream presence on just one game. Because the minute you deviate, people will leave you. The minute that game is no longer available, people get bored of it, or someone else comes along that's better, you're going to lose folks. Or if you decide to branch out, that's it. You're done. So, it sucks, and I would not... Um, ever recommend building your stream brand on just one game. Um, but that's me. So sorry, I'm just seeing who else who else is on really quick. Right. Dan TDM. Go 
good, Sam. Please go eat. I'm going to go throw this pizza in the oven. It's like now 11.30. And I said I was going to end around now. So uh, thanks for hanging out. This is not a normal stream day, but I like kind of checking in in the mornings. If I'm feeling it, um, I need to go do some writing. I need to eat. Um, yes, I'm going to go eat. I've got a pizza in the oven. Or I'm going to have a pizza in the oven, I should say. Um, yes, I'm gonna get food. I'm gonna we're gonna throw it over to Misty, and then I will get some food. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, chilling with me. Uh, you're so welcome, Amar. I'm, I hope this helped people. I literally had no plan other than kind of talk about a couple things and see where chat went from there, and uh, let's see what happens. And I may come back later after my 6 o'clock meeting and do some Final Fantasy. Oh, I'm so glad, Queen, Queen Lama. Well, thank you so much, Akita. Thanks for coming by. Let me uh, throw you a, a follow. So I've been trying to talk my partner into doing more Twitch stuff. Um, because he does music as well. All right, but let's go give Misty a raid and some love. Hopefully it actually shows. Oh, you're so welcome. I try to, I try to support other folks. Uh, yeah, but let's go give Misty some love. Uh, she's working on her uh, Dragon Con costumes. Ignore Nightbot, it's not modded, it can't do anything to you. Hopefully the raid is actually happening. Because I'm, I'm not seeing the raid thing. Oh, okay. Damn it! 